Hi everybody, um, how are you? What extraordinary and strange circumstances we currently find ourselves in. Um, so, I wanted to share with you really what it's like at the minute being out here working for the RSPCA um, in, a min in amongst this, this current pandemic really. Um, so my job as an RSPCA inspector has massively changed in the last week to actually reaching out to the vulnerable people that I'm already aware of and making sure that they are safe and that their animals are safe. Um, we are doing some incredible work at the minute um, and I know that there are so many people, so many key workers, so many essential workers still out there doing a fantastic job. Um, and I just wanted you guys to see really what we're doing because on a day-to-day -day basis it's definitely an experience what we're going through right now. So some of the things that we're still out doing, so we're still rescuing animals that are um, sick or injured, um, we are still going and doing um, checking on animals that we get calls about in regards to poor body condition having no food um, so I am spending a lot of time at the minute going to properties where people currently aren't um, for whatever reasons they are no longer at home whether that's because they've been caught abroad or whether that's been because they were elsewhere when the country went into lockdown um, so I'm feeding a lot of animals through the letterboxes at the minute, trying to find a way to resolve this and safeguard their welfare. One of the other things that we are doing locally as well, um, and nationally in fact, is we are reaching out to those people that were already on our radar and making sure that they have food and cat litter um, and making sure that if their animals are on medication, then we're going to fetch the money from them and then we're making the journey to the vets, getting the medication and then dropping the medication off at their homes for them. That to me is extremely vital because without that, those owners are putting themselves at risk but also potentially you've got animals out there that need medication and without that medication they are gonna be suffering. So for me personally, I just feel so privileged that I can be in a position that I can still be out and I can still be providing support and care to owners and their pets. Um, we have a lot of officers that obviously have been affected, whether this is personally or whether this is their families. They've got family members that have become sick. Um, through this this virus that's going around and they've actually had to go into isolation now those officers are so dedicated that that hasn't stopped them from still working and we have a lot of officers currently working from home um, many of them with children <laughs> and you can imagine how difficult that is <laughs> working from home with children is not something that I envy um, and actually what they are doing is they are spending the days on the phone making those vital phone calls getting things in place so that then I can do the runs to and from the vets and to and, ru to and from our centres where we have food and, and litter and supplies and things like that so you know we are still here we are still working and we are still reaching out to those that are most at need and providing them with support and care that they need to be safe during this period. The roads are very odd, very odd at this time. Um, I kind of expected that they were going to be empty. Um, and whether you can see the amount of cars that have been going past my window but the roads most certainly are not empty and they are still very busy um, and I cannot stress to people enough how important it is that if you do not need to go out stay at home so that those workers those essential workers and those key workers can still carry on with their key 
core activities and they can do it safely. At the minute, I'm still out and I'm still able to, sub to provide support to people. But if I become sick or my family becomes sick, that's going to stop. So the more people that stay at home mean the more that key workers and essential workers can carry on doing what we're doing because we are less at risk of becoming in contact with people that don't need to be out. So remember guys, stay home, save lives. That's the motto and it cannot be underestimated. Um, I cannot thank people that are continuing to donate to the RSPCA at this time enough. I've said it before and I will continue to say it but without people making donations, without people like yourselves making donations to the RSPCA, we could not provide the support and care that we do, especially at times like this. So thank you, thank you so much for everything that you do it means that I can carry on doing what I'm doing. Have a fantastic day guys. I know this is really strange and really weird at this minute and I know that everybody's going through lots of different experiences and you know we will get through this as a country together. We will support one another. So have a great day. Try and find the positives. Enjoy time with your family. <laughs> thank you so much for your support as always do not forget to click on the like button and feel free to leave comments it's always great to hear from everybody particularly at this time have a lovely day bye